Pico catheter, you also need a monitoring kit. This monitoring kit provides you with an arterial pressure transducer and a central venous pressure transducer. Including in this kit, there's an injectate sensor housing. When opening the box, you will find the right items inside. Here you can find the two pressure transducer, which can be connected to the Pico catheter and the central venous line. Separately, sealed is the injectate sensor housing. You will need this for the connection to the central venous pressure line. This is the correct cable which goes to the entrance of the AP and the CVP on the PICO module. The other end we have here where we connect it to the pressure transducer. So just take this connection, take the one from the pressure transducer and connect it like this. Of course you need an extra one, so as always, two cables going to the PICO module. Take this one, same as the other one. Connect it like this and it's set. This next video will show you how the pressure transducer and the central venous pressure transducer will be connected to your patient. This will normally be done by a doctor or by a nurse. Let's start with the arterial pressure transducer. When the pressure transducer is properly flushed by a doctor or by a nurse, we can connect it to the Pico catheter. The next step will be the central venous pressure. We're going to connect it to a central venous pressure catheter being placed by a doctor. In this example we're going to use a 3 lumen catheter. After flushing the system we're going to connect this one to the distal lumen of the catheter. So we're going to remove the blue cap here, take out this one and place it on the right part here. The next thing you need is a temperature and you take sensor housing. Just place it simply on this part. So take off the blue cap here and place the temperature sensor housing here and connect it clockwise, gently. Place your blue cap at the end of the temperature sensor housing, like this. What you need to do right now is take the temperature cable from the Pico and place it on the temperature sensor housing. There is a small pin over there. Just make sure it's positioned well and just firmly click it together. The last thing you need is a prepared cold syringe with C line. You will place this one where the blue cap is. Take off the blue cap, place the syringe and connect it clockwise. Like this. Now you're ready to make an injection. To give you a tip, just hold this one between your hand and your two fingers. If you do it like this, you can make an injection very easily without even having too much force for it. The central venous catheter can be normally placed for three days. So when you change the central venous pressure line, also replace the injection temperature sensor housing. This is the complete setup for the Pico. Now you're ready and set to make a Pico measurement. If the center line on the top, the Pico catheter in the femoral part and everything is flushed and ready.